season. Today I'm going to show you how to build an actual skateboard. Okay, let's start with the front truck. 90 millimeter wheel. Two washers and a nut. I'm gonna put a washer on first. And put on the wheel. Put on another washer. And a nut. Now we need a T-tour to tighten the wheel. Now do the same things on the other side. Back truck. Hub motor. Try to find the small bump at the end of the axle. Make sure it face out when you slide the board into the truck so that the motor will be locked in and will slide out after you put the plate on. For the other motor, find the little bump and do all the same things. Now let's go ahead and put the components on. ESC We need 4 small screws for this Now the battery charging port and power button. Ok now let's install the motor wires into the enclosure. Just put the wires through these two holes and use the nuts to secure them. Same way to install the tail lights. Let me find a place for the air driver. Now we have installed all the components into the enclosure. Tail lights motors, battery, power burn, and charging port. Let's connect the battery first. This small one goes to the charging port. And the bigger one to the ESC. This port down here is for the power button. This is a dual motor board, so there are two face wires and two sensor wires. These two connectors are for one motor, and these two are for the other motor. Just connect them yellow to yellow, white to white.
this small connector here is for the LED driver. This LED driver has four connectors. Two are for the tail lights, which will make the lights flash when you brake. Okay, let's test it out. This is a new ESC, we need to pair it to the remote. Don't press the bell button until it begins to blink. Turn on the remote. Press the HL and LE button at the same time. Okay, it works. Bell is going backward when your remote settings for work. In this case, we need to swap the motor wires. Okay, let's test it again. It works properly now. Next, I'm gonna put street light on the enclosure. I'm gonna glue a controller for the lights under the power button and mount the light on the edge of the enclosure all the way to the other side. Let's plug it into one of the two connectors left and see how it works. Well, it works fine. You can switch between the different lighting modes and flashing speed with this controller. Yeah, the lights will also turn on when you brake. The wire from the street light is a bit too thick, thicker than the pad between the deck and the enclosure. I'm gonna cut some of the plastic cover off, so it will affect the water resistance of this board. Now let's put the deck on. The distance between the two holes is shorter than the others, same as the distance of the nuts at the back of the enclosure. A little tip here, small screwdrivers will help you align the holes in the deck with the nuts in the enclosure. Now I will show you with this hole, like this. Do it with another hole. Once you've aligned two of these holes with nuts, you could screw them in easily. Now let's mount the trucks. Just put a pad between the deck and the truck, place four screws in the holes, and screw the nut on the boards. For the front truck, do all the same things again. Okay, last, let's put the grid tape on. 